Hello, this is Uncle Spock with episode 13 of Really Awesome Mods. Today, uh, we're going to start doing some auto crafting. So, to get started, go under refine storage and find the auto crafter. Um, looks like this one, the crafter. So, first step, we need to make one of these. So let's make about four of these guys. There we go. And then at some point we're going to upgrade the speed augment to three because right now, I mean, it's, he walks and runs really fast. I really like that a lot, but I need to upgrade our pants to Imperium. So what I want to prioritize right now is a little bit of auto crafting and then we'll get back into upgrading the other goodies. So let's put that in our inventory here for the crafting, make one of these. And two of these guys. And one of these. And we should have everything we need for our first auto crafter. Okay, there's our auto crafter. Now we need to make the craft monitor or pattern or pattern pattern grid. That's what we need. So we need one more of these. One of these guys. And for that, we're going to need a few things. What are we out of? String. Hmm. String, string, string. Oh, I think we had Sissel, didn't we? Sissel. We're going to have to find a way to make some string. Spider essence. Okay, we can't do that. Um, we could make a strainer. Pressure. How much wool do we have? Quite a bit of wool. Looks like we can throw some wool in the crusher. Is it this crusher? No. Yeah, I think that's good for now. Perfect. Let's see. We need... Which ones again? We need... Two of these, so we need some more of those. Let's make 16 for now. And the last one is this one. Perfect. There we go. I think we have everything. There's our pattern grid. I'm just going to put the pattern grid on top of this. And we need patterns. 
Back on. There we go. Um. Make a few of those. Throw these in here. Our first thing we're going to do is actually make pattern for patterns. And we're going to go down, put this crafter down here. Um, doesn't really matter where. So I think we're going to start digging out this way a little bit. I think that's going to be like a cool setup. If we did it like this, throw this pattern of the pattern in there. And now when we want more patterns, all we got to do is click on here and say, I want 10 more patterns. It's going to tell me we're missing glass and quartz. So now we're going to teach it how to make both glass and quartz. Mm. Why did it say we didn't have enough glass? Oh, because that's for 10 and we don't have enough, right? So we're missing 30. Let me see something here. The pattern, it must not be asking for the right type. Sometimes it does that. Let's see. If I put it in here. Oh, yeah. So it's great. So we're going to see how it's saying exact. If we take it off of that. And click this again. It's going to use whatever kind it has that's also in the same um, recipe. Sometimes we do want an exact, sometimes we don't. So now it shouldn't say we have, we're missing glass. Although, we still need to teach it how to make glass, right? So all it's saying we're missing is quartz. So, quartz enriched iron. Um, let's go on the top one. Uh, quartz enriched iron right here. So we're going to put this in here and do that. And this doesn't matter if it's exact, pat exact pattern or not, because it's only one type of recipe for it. I'm going to throw that one in there. And then we're going to have to teach it how to make glass, right? So if we click on here, see this has glass shards, but we want smelting recipe. So we're just going to go here, and click that processing. So sand and into some type of processing is going to make glass, which is going to be in the smelter. So we need to make another... Um, crafter throw that in there to teach you how to make crafting and just for now let's make this guy manually get four of those oh oops I need to uh, smelt these guys real quick. Okay, I'm going to make this crafter real quick and I'll be right back. Okay. We got the crafter. So I just want to make an additional crafter just to put right here, just so we can do a quick craft um, items. Say, for example, um, what did we make here? So that and here, just so we're not bouncing back and forth. Crafter, so if I click this and say start, see these are the things it's saying it's missing, right? So we're gonna teach you how to make the machine casing. Uh, machine casing is made like this. Throw that one in there. And now if we say crafter start now see it knows how to make that so now it's just saying it's missing 
these three items. Now I'm going to teach you how to make these three items. The advanced processor. So that's going to make that and that's going to make that. And this is going to go into here. And these two is going to have to go in the smelter. So we're going to do another crafter, right? I don't remember if I needed two of those or not, but I'm going to make two of them. And... Let's make this one and this one. And we should have another crafter, right? Almost. Machine casing. Now we have a crafter. Or almost. There we go. There's our crafter. So now if I take this crafter and take it downstairs. And let's place it here. Here, although we need to churn this um actually let's put him here and now we need to rotate let's see can I do rotate no it doesn't work okay let's see Refined stores have a wrench. Um, power has a wrench, smart wrench. Can I make one of those real quick? If that doesn't work. I know we can make one of these, right? Let's go ahead and make one anyways. All right, so now we have both wrenches, just in case. I just wanted to see if this one works. So smart wrench. I got to make a uh, elevator here soon. No, nope, that one doesn't work. Okay, that's fine. But we know this one does. Okay, so now we have that pointing this way. It's going to interact with this. So if I shift click these in here, it's going to know to put this stuff in here. But now we have to pull this stuff back out of here, right? So let's go ahead and make in, I believe it's an importer. So I kind of do this wrong sometimes. Let's see. Importer, because it's going to import the stuff into the system. Okay, I need to make two of these. Soon we won't have to do this anymore because it'll do it all automatically for us. Here's one of those and here's one of these. Okay, there's the importer. So now if we put the importer, oh, we need cables too. So the importer is going to go underneath here and these cables will connect that. And now this guy is ready to go because he's all blue. Let's make sure it's importing stuff. Okay. So here's going to have to go, um, down's going to have to output. Yes. It outputted this stuff. It's already into the system. Cool. So now, if we were to request 
let's see um we want one of these right start see we have everything we need click start and it should probably gonna be faster than i can get down here yeah at refined storage okay why didn't it make it Okay, I found out. Um, I forgot to put this as an input right here on the back of this machine so it wasn't accepting the items. So now it's making both of these guys. Okay, that's what our problem was. So now, if we go at refine, so now we have two advanced processors. Cool. If we were to craft another crafter, what is it saying? It's missing construction core and deconstruction core, right? Let's teach it how I make these two. That refine, so it wants construction core. Oh, we need to make some more patterns. Let's make 10 more patterns. See that? Look at that, how nice that is. So there's the construction and a deconstruction. All right, put these in here. And that is perfect. And these guys can go in here. So if I were to say, refine and make me a crafter now, it's saying it's missing basic processors. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a basic processor it's going to be like this and that's going to go on the smelter on down below and let's see this one is going to come up here like that and this one's going to have to go over here So now if I say make me a crafter, we should have everything it needs to make the crafter, right? Except for it's missing processor bindings. We can make processor bindings now. Like that. Throw this in here. And it looks like we have everything we need. Hit start. I can hear the uh, machine running downstairs. Oh, uh, it sounded like it finished. There it is. There's our crafter. Throw some of this stuff inside here that we don't need. And that is cool. So now we can put this crafter downstairs and it will be ready to accept more patterns. And way I can get around getting up here but it doesn't look like so I'm just gonna go around the back All right and I can place this down here like this and I just like spinning it in the same direction just because um, and then we can probably open this up this way and this is gonna be my crafter I'm gonna start it, it will just keep building that way and just keep making more of these and let's, I uh, don't have any torches on me. So that is the beginning of the crafter. The next thing we want to make is refined storage.
storage and I want to make the um I think it's called the crafting monitor crafter manager uh, this is really cool because with the crafter manager I don't have to keep going up and down all the time so we just need to make a few of these items here I'm not gonna teach it how to make because we only need to make one of these so we need two crafters Oh, missing silicon, huh? So to make silicon is like this. So let's teach it how to make silicon. And that's going to go downstairs. And craft manage, put it over here. So we need two crafters. Yep, has everything it needs. Go. And we need to make one of these guys. But for that, we need our make ten of those. There's that. What else do we need? Okay, the crafters are being made. We need two advanced processors. That's being made. So now we're just waiting on the processors. See, that's why I love auto crafting. Ugh, can't get enough of it. So there's one. And just waiting for the second one. There it is. And there's our craft manager. So with the craft manager, um, we can go ahead and take this guy down, all of those things, put the craft manager up here, right? So if I open this up, we can see, see the smelting factory and just crafters, right? So I can put all this stuff. Oh, I can't shift click it because it goes in the wrong place. Okay, so we can just place these guys in here. What else we have? All these are just patterns. All right. Perfect. See, and now I can take this downstairs. Oh, one. Yeah, let's break this one so I can fall in the hole. There we go. I'm gonna go around the back and put this guy down here. Let's turn him around. Perfect. All right. So that is auto crafting started with the craft manager and all those goodies. Um. Size, yeah, I like it on large. Okay, uh, next, how are we doing on storage? I think we're doing all right on storage because we're not using the actual the. Well, oh, that's getting pretty close, huh? But here we have quite a bit. So you've got almost three thousand still left in here. Uh, so I'm not worried about storage for right now. Okay, let's see how we're doing over here. We've got 200. So pretty soon what I want to do as well is we're going to make, I already made this uh, crafter. And if we can find a way to tell the items to automatically come in. Oh, it's dark down here. Let's get... Do I have any torches? No, I don't think I have any torches in here. Okay, let's grab some torches. Oh, only have one. Okay.
And let's put some torches in here. All right, so it looks like all we're doing here is bringing our items in directly from over there. If I were to put this here, I, I, I set this up before on the other spot for to automatically make the, the uranite for us. And okay, it's got no power, so it also needs power. How do I want to do this? I guess I can do it through auto crafting. Because if I have the auto crafter here, right, let's put power. I power this guy up here and put how come these aren't converting that's weird that's why okay um if I were let's put all this away real quick Can I just do this and it'll just put everything away? Almost everything. There's dimensional shards here too. Okay, so if I were to put, I need a importer and an exporter. We're gonna get rid of these, right? Um, it does have a filter. Hmm. Let's make a filter real quick. I'm gonna get a couple supplies here. I'll be right back. Okay, so I grab. I made a filter. I grabbed some inferium. So let's see. If I were to do, oh, let's make an import. It'll be export. Construction core. And improve. Okay, let's teach it how to make that. Because we're going to use importers and exporters to teach it how to make that. Okay. Exporter. And importer. And let's put these in here. So we want an exporter craft. Improved processor. Didn't teach you how to make those yet. Improved processors. Improved. Oh. That refined storage. teach it no we didn't okay all right so this one goes here and this one goes here and now export start okay we got everything okay here's our exporter so if we get this exporter and put it on the bottom is fine Are we out of cables? Let's make some cables. Uh, 
Good old lag spike. Here we go. Okay, we have some, but let's teach you how to make cables. Oh, we need some more patterns. There we go. Taught that. All right, we had a Enderman show up in the base just as I was um I was choking here. <laughs> Excuse me. So, I killed the Enderman, got an Enderman pearl. And now we just need to put these cables back over here. And as far as export, we're going to tell it to export all the Inferium. Now I'm wondering if I should have export all the Inferium. Or just put a crafter. You know what, let's just put a crafter. And the reason why, <clears throat> sometimes I don't want all the Inferium to be converted into the higher tier, right? Especially because we don't have the actual, um, what is it called, the master... Mm, that's not what it's called. Uh, mystical. Okay, where are you? Where are you? Yeah, it is called Master Infusion Crystal. So this one has unlimited uses. We don't have enough material to make that yet. But when we do, we can, and then I can just tell it to convert everything to to the maximum um, Supremium Essence. And then if we needed some lower ones, we can just easily convert it. So for now, I'm just going to put a crafter under here, and we'll tell it to automatically craft it when we need it. And not only that, we need to make a higher tier crafter. So this one's not strong enough for what we want to do. In that case, let's just get rid of this one for now. And I'll probably use that to make a uranite. Talking of which, how are we doing? We got five. We need to make some more uh, uranite. I think we can do that, right? Make all the uranite. Here we go. So that'll make that. And we want a crafter. And hit start. Make the crafter. And it should be done here any second. Let's take these. And I can just throw these in here. It's automatically going to import it into the system here. And uh, maybe put some more charcoal. No, not too worried right now. We're not using a whole lot of power. Um, We don't need that here anymore. We're going to make some more of this here soon. Where's our crafter? There it is. And what we're gonna do, I think we're gonna make this in a couple of different recipes. So that way we can make exactly which ones we want. I'm wondering if I should make multiple crafters. No, I'm gonna make it and have it go to the eggs. Okay, so let's go ahead and make the crafter. We're going to make a tier 3 crafter. Oh, wrong place. I'm going to say I had everything. That's kind of cool. So we're going to make the tier 2. So we need 
two of these guys. Are we out of... I guess we are, huh? Two of those. And give me a stack. There's tier two. And there's tier three. Now let's take this tier three downstairs. And let's put them here. And now what this is going to do is the recipe is going to go... Um, we need the crystal. Just take both of them. Okay, so the two crystals are going to stay in here. And the first recipe, it's going to ask for this and those four. And that's going to be, I almost forgot, I got to double click here first, put that here, do that. We're going to leave this as all and, and it's going to export, right? So if I hit a plot, wait, export. Results of crafting operation will go to the output buffer. Remaining items like buckets will stay in the input. So this is going to, so basically it's going to leave this in here. And so if I do that, see, it converted all this here. So now we can go ahead and say the second recipe is going to be basically the same thing. It's going to use this guy and it's going to do these ones right here. And we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to do export C and we're going to craft everything that's in here because whatever we tell it to make, it's going to come in here, right? So I hit apply and it's going to throw all these out here. And we're just going to keep doing that all the way down like that. Hit apply and there we go. See, I did this wrong. This has got to be at the C, which is fine. That's why we do these tests, right? Hit apply. So now we have all the way up to uh, infusion crystal, right? So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go, if I throw this in here, so it just puts it in here. Perfect. Okay, so now if we come over here and tell it to create uh, a pattern, let's grab these patterns and say um, at mystical, and we're going to say we want to make our first pattern of um, where to go right here. Okay. We're going to make essence like this. And then the next one like this. Wait, um, that one. And this one. And then this one. All right, so here's the four patterns, and we're going to take this crafter downstairs. And we're going to put the crafter here, and we got to turn that. Oops, it wasn't right there. And we're going to throw these patterns in here. And we're going to test it real quick. And I'm just going to convert these guys back to this. Because we're going to use that as a, as a test, right? So throw all this back in here and say mystical. So if I say to make 
If I tell it to make the top tier, I'm pretty sure we're not going to have enough. It's saying... What is it saying we're missing? Oh, I know why. Okay. Um, I have to take those crystals out of the patterns because it's not using the crystals. So what we're going to do is we're going to put... Keep these over here real quick. Okay, so... I'm going to put the pattern back in here, take this out. It's going to have to be under processing, I think. Mm. How come it won't? Okay, put under processing. And if I go, oh, not 64 of them. I get one of each of these. Tell it it's going to make. Okay, I'm going to have to grab one of each real quick. Du, 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 du. Okay, we're going to have to do this manually real quick. Okay, how come I didn't make the rest of those? There's four of them. I guess it did. Okay. So now, make these, half of those, well, let's make some more, oops, not that, that. Oh, I guess I haven't taught how to make this one yet, right? Because we didn't have anything to make that one yet. And this is going to be that. Hit apply. There we go. So there's the red. Right? So premium, in premium, terimium, and peridium. I don't know if I pronounced all that correctly, but okay, here we go. So now I have to go into here and say processing. Four of these. Okay, so processing four of the Okay. Four of these equals one of these. Done. Right? So processing. So if I say four of these equals one of these orange ones and do that, right? Come back over here, go processing. And now if we get um I do the orange okay, orange. So now we need the uh, blue. All right, so we get four oranges equals one blue. And now if we say four blue equals one red. We'll just clear that in there. So now if we come down here and throw these guys in here. And if I were to ask for um, 
Let's see. That mystical, right? And if I were to say, craft me a red one. It's saying, I have everything I need to make it hit start, and it should make it. As long as we have the export. It should have thrown everything in here, and it should have made the red. It didn't make it. Mm -mm -mm. Is this in the wrong place? Okay, no matter what, we need to do an importer on the bottom. I think we can do it on the side too. Let me check. We need one importer. Everything, yes, we do. Oh, I guess it, it did make it, didn't it? Okay, let's try throwing all this in here and get this red and convert it into regular inferium. So we don't have anything else in here. Let's take these two out. I'm going to convert that into we'll just hold on to it at mystical so if I went if I wanted one of you it's saying that I have enough to start it right so hit start Okay, it's making it. It's just going to be a while because it's importing one piece at a time. Uh, we can upgrade this by putting uh, stack upgrades. I think it's stack upgrades, right? Refined upgrades. Yes, we can make stack upgrades. Okay, let's teach us how to make some upgrades here real quick. And that we can just throw in here. And then let's do speed upgrades. And stack upgrades. All right, and now let's ask for a stack upgrade. Missing, missing sugar. Okay, um, sugar. Teach you how to make sugar. Mm -hmm. Sugar, and we made like that. Mm. Upgrade. Make a stack upgrade, have everything we need. And then let's make um, uh, four speed upgrades. And I'll be back as soon as it's done. Okay, so here we go. We got our stack upgrade and we got two speed upgrades for right now, which is fine. Now, if we were to come over here and throw these guys in here. Is it not allowing a stack upgrade? I guess not. So why are you not pulling out? 
because you don't have the importer. Okay, so now with the importer, and if I think if I put the stack upgrade on that, that'll work. Burn, we need some room in here. Come on. There we go. Importer and stack upgrade and it should there we go And there's premium essence and we're good See that's that's how we make really really fast Okay, now I can make it the same way we'd normally would through here but it would take forever. This is a really slow process doing it through here. And that's the reason why I use the crafter. And let's see, do we have our at mystical? There's a supremium essence. So if I push the shift right, no, okay. There's, I thought there was a way you could Alt shift no. There we go. So it's it's control shift and it forces it to make more even though you have some in here. So if I decided to say um Yeah, so there's one in here. So shift control and then click on it and it automatically opens up to say more. So if I wanted ten more, it's gonna say nah, you need two thousand and forty eight more um inferior essence. So this is a quick way for us to now here's how come it's not wanting to use Let's see if I wanted one more. Okay, it does say I have available two, but it still needs that many and more of those. Works exactly the way I wanted it to. So now if we were to come over here and if we watered this guy up. And got a whole bunch of Supremium Essence. Although this will take a while. But there's quite a bit more now, right? Well, 14 more. <laughs> um, at Mystical. So yeah, so there's, see there's 36, 37, 38. So now if I wanted three more of these guys, we still need well over 500. So I'm gonna wait for that to keep going um, because we want to make our next tier uh, pants. Oh, but that is blue ones. I think we got enough for the blue, right? Yeah. You just gotta break that. Oh, probably not. At Mystical. Can we make 10 more of those? No, we can't. Okay. But. How many do we need? Uses. Okay, so we need. Two, four. So we need eight in total, right? And how many do we have? So we need two more. Do we have enough? Oh. We need like 20 some more. Okay. Not a problem. How's our miner doing? Is our miner doing something over there? Why do we, oh, I was like, why am I walking so slow? I got so used to having these pants. Oh, it looks like it's uh, it's done mining, huh? Now, how 
hard would it be to get a um, what kind of chest do we have? Do we have ender chest? Yeah, I have ender. I got one ender pearl. And I would need two ender chests, right? That's not going to work. Not going to work. I wish I could make these, but for that, I need souls of enders. <clears throat> okay, so. To, when we move this, we're going to have to move it. I can do an RF tools miner. Can't we? RF tools has the builder. Um, for that, we need this guy. We have, we have, we should have enough materials to make this. Because that way we can just go ahead and say, okay, just mine like real far away and just pick up what I want. Not sure. Well, it looks like we're way over time. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish our episode here. And uh, you guys know what to do. Like, share, subscribe, comment. And I hope everybody's doing well. Until then, see you guys later.